Hi friends, welcome back to SPC Chem Tutor. In this video, we will discuss practice questions. So, first question Which of the following exists as covalent crystal in the solid state? Option A iodine, Option B silicon, Option C sulfur, and Option D phosphorus. Correct answer is Option B silicon. So, uh, silicon. Mm, due to its uh, network like structure and diamond like structure it act it forms uh, it exists as covalent crystals in solid state okay then next question lithium forms body centered cubic structure cubic structure the length of the side of its unit cell is 351 picometer atomic radius of lithium will be Question that I it is a BCC body centered cubic structure lithium forms BCC uh, structure and edge length A it is 351 picometer. So, we uh, will radius and uh, calculate it. So, radius uh, and then side unit cell in the side for a BCC units in the case 4R is equal to root 3 and equation which is the question solved. So 152 option B is the correct answer. Sorry, option D is the correct answer. Okay. Then next question copper crystallizes in FCC lattice with a unit cell edge of 361 picometer. The radius of copper atom is option A 181 uh, picometer, option B 108 picometer, option C 128 picometer and option D 157 picometer. So in the discuss either the similar type question on the FCC lattice and the other BCC lattice I know FCC lattice on the summit that is the radius of edge length of the relation 4 r is equal to root 2 a the relation you say that we have to question solve here so r is equal to root 2 uh, a by 4 or uh, uh, rearrange that we short a by 2 root 2 a so at solve in the same we have to 127.63 pi kometer that means 128 picometer. Option C is the correct answer. Then next question. Among solids, the highest melting point is established by Option A, covalent bond. Option B, ionic bond. Option C, pseudo solids. And Option D, molecular solids. And Option E, amorphous solids. Correct answer is Option A, covalent solids. That means the highest melting point is established by covalent solids like SiO2 that is quartz and silicon carbide, diamond, uh, graphite etc. Okay. Then the unit of rate constant for zero order reaction is option A mole liter inverse second inverse option B liter mole inverse second inverse option c liter square mole raised to minus 2 uh, uh, second inverse option d second inverse correct answer is option a mole liter inverse second inverse zero order reaction we uh, generally mole uh, sorry l uh, liter n minus 1 mole 1 minus 1 uh, second minus 1 uh, for you general formula which is the rate constant unit uh, calculate n order order of reaction so option a is the correct answer okay then the coagulating power of electrolyte having ions in a plus L3 plus barium 2 plus for arsenic sulfate sol increase in the order. Option A L3 plus less than barium 2 plus less than Na plus. Option B Na plus less than 
variant 2 plus less than L3 plus. Option C, variant 2 plus less than Na plus less than L3 plus. And option D, L3 plus less than Na plus less than barium 2 plus. So, this question can be solved by Hardy Schultz rule. Hardy Schultz rule in the next angle. Greater the charge on the oppositely charged ions, greater its coagulating power. That is also oppositely charged ions in the charge of the energy side in the coagulating power. Here, arsenic sulfate is a negatively charged salt. So, this negatively charged salt is a coagulating tendency. The charge is positively opposite charge, positively charge, highest alkyl, and then coagulate tendency. So, Na plus, variant 2 plus, L3 plus is the order. So, option B is the correct answer. Then, a network polymer among the following is. Option A, Teflon. Option B, Polythene. Option C, Bakelite. Option D, PVC. Option E, Nylon 66. Correct answer is option C, Bakelite. It's a cross-linked or network polymer. Okay. Next question, Chloramphenicol is an option A, anti-fertility drug. Option B, antihistamine. Option C, antiseptic and disinfectant. Option D, antibiotic broad spectrum. Correct answer is option D. Chloramphenicol is an antibiotic. Next question, which, among, which of the following is employed as antihistamine? Option A, chloramphenicol. Option B, diphenylhydramine. Option C, norethidrone. Option D, omeprazole. Correct answer is option B, diphenylhydramine is employed as has antihistamines. Friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.